Bethlehem became this, uh, this kind of concept. Um, 15th century poet says, Jesus saved London that in Bethlehem was born. God, God, Jesus saved London that was born in Bethlehem. He, this country guy had, had a hard time in London and so uh, London was like a madhouse. This is a, a folk poem which just talks about um, talks about John the Roman and Simon Fitzmary. It's a London folk poem which, which gets over the, uh, the appreciation of the people for this development. Good people all come hear me now till John the Roman's guilt be told and how he broke his priestly vow and Judas-like his master sold. Castles and lands and relics blessed he seized, he stole. Hello, Maria. And lands, uh, he, he scattered them, and sore despoiled and sore oppressed the holy church of Bethlehem. Yet out of evil good shall come. Adoremus Dominum. For as Fitzmary knelt to pray, this is Simon Fitzmary who donated the land for the first Bethlehem. For as Fitzmary knelt to pray, an angel whispered in his ear, the Holy Land is far away. Prepare another manger here. Build your second house of bread in this fair city of renown. And God his son, the angel said, shall come to dwell in London town. So spake the angel bending low, red ends lordes domino. So, so well, that's what I'm interested in, this twinning of London sites with Biblical sites. Blake does this a lot, um, and he was aware of Beth. He was aware of Bethlehem. So I'll be exploring that, and then exploring ideas about Blake and madness. And it'll be good to hear what everyone thinks. You know, what 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 label would you put on Blake? So at some point we'll be think discussing that. Just thinking of here as well. Here, because the theatres in Shakespeare's time were up that way. All of the writers and actors were very aware of this place, Bedlam. So you get uh, you get <coughs> Thomas Decker's play, The Honest Whore. You get Mad World, My Masters, Middleton, I, I think. You get The Changeling as well. All, these are plays which have scenes in Bedlam. It was already a theatrical spectacle. Uh, lots of actors would tend to go mad anyway because they're always playing other people. They don't know who they are. Actors would often end up in a bedlam, so the, the, it's it's writers and uh, artists are fascinated with it already. One actor ended up here, Nathaniel Lee, I think his name was, and uh, he he famously said, uh, "They said I was mad. I said they were mad. Damn it, they outvoted me." <laughs> uh, this this kind of we'll see this later. Blake has a similar dynamic going on in his own head. Uh, I'll have my own theory about Blake's madness a bit later, um, but uh, these are the things to bear in mind. So we, we can go now from here to the nearby second site of Bethlehem.